what is powerful about the system? Well, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's three things. It's, it's the um, clarity of the system, it's the logic of the system, and the simplicity of the system. Firstly, th there are, perhaps on the logic, there are five stages, and, and they include things like the following. Some of these are sub-stages, but it's very, very straightforward. Think about what your organisation is trying to do. What's your objective? Think about how you can measure that objective, what measurement you should use. And having decided that, uh, look at your past um, performance and project your future performance if you don't do anything differently. Set targets on those performance measures. So for example, if your performance measure is return on equity, uh, you look at the past, how have you done, set a target of 18% or whatever you think is uh, uh, a stretch, and then um, compare the targets with the projections that you've made, and, and then you, you identify gaps. You know, we're obviously going to fall short if we don't do anything differently. You then move into uh, a SWOT analysis, looking at strengths and weaknesses, internal factors, <laughs> and opportunities and threats, that is, external things and then develop strategies which build on your strengths, overcome your weaknesses, take advantage of opportunities, counter the threats, and fill the gaps that you identified earlier. And finally, uh, having selected strategies, develop some action plans um, to put them into effect. On clarity, the, the system, I think, is really strong on helping you understand the difference between, for example, an objective and a strategy. I've been in companies where they'll say, our objective is uh, to be um, Australia's best oil company or something. That's really a strategy for an objective that I want to talk about a bit later. And Argenti keeps pulling you back and saying, that's not a strategy, that's not an objective, it's, it's a so on and so forth. That's not a threat, that's a weakness because it's internal. It's a threat if it's external, and so it's, it's quite strict on those sort of things. Um, and, and the final thing about the value of the plan is that it's highly structured. So what we found was, and this was fantastic for me knowing nothing about corporate planning, to pick up a manual that said, uh, start reading. And when you got to the end of that chapter, it said, stop reading, the planning assistant will call you and arrange a meeting. And so sometime later that happened and then before you go to the meeting, read this section and so on. So it was terrifically, if you like, mechanistic and easy to follow. But the, the wonderful thing about the system, I think, is that it, it enables you to focus on the big issues. Apart from those other three characteristics I mentioned, you really, as Jetty says, focus on the elephants. That is, what are the big things that are going to affect the strategic development of this company? In the case of NAB, um, they sort of grasped it with both hands and, and came to the board six months later and said, here's our plan. And it was gratifying to me that uh, Malcolm Williamson, who was, uh, is on the board and was former head of Visa International and, and CEO of Standard Chartered Bank, at the end of this presentation said, you know, I've seen a lot of strategy presentations in companies over the years, but I've never seen one as clear as this I think it has uh, wonderful features of simplicity and clarity and making you focus on the right issues, the strategic sort of issues that generally in the workplace you don't get time to do. You know, All of us tend to be caught up in day-to-day -day things and uh, are unable or feel we're unable to actually think about the big picture. This forces you to do it. Finally, importantly, it's not the sort of plan that you put in the bottom drawer. Uh, we, we were able to, every three months at divisional board meetings, compare how things were going according to the plan. And um, that, I think, is where it is very different to other plans I've seen, where people do them, present them to the board, put them away, and then one day in the future do it again. <laughs>